Yep, I don't care how I look. Good morning. I was self-conscious. Yeah, right. It's my fault. That's it. You ever wonder if you're good at accents, like if your voice actually sounds like it does when it comes out of your mouth and other people would hear it? It's a bit early, but whatever. Early, late, there's no actual difference. My impression of someone who drives a large V8, V10, V12, or the fuck that is, vehicle. Often Darth Vader black. Like the pickup truck from the cop shop. Whoever's idling around all day, just mosey mobile. Whatever. <clears throat> Try to do it Australian. Let's see. <clears throat> it's old chugger. <laughs> all right, old chugger. Time to mat in first. Um, Try Bernie Sanders. Um, we must rebuild our crumbling infrastructure. Mm. I don't know, I'll see how it turns out. To me, that was, like, fucking perfect, but whatever. At least I tried. Sure wish I had a vaporizer, but I can't afford it. Well, I could. But, uh... Springfield, Vermont. Fellas Falls, Vermont. Whatever. And then there's the people with the, uh, <laughs> with the naturally aspirated four banger with the cherry bomb. It's like, I, I don't even want to, I don't even want to try it. It's not like a fart. And then sometimes they have the turbo on it, but it's like this wicked weak turbo with, I don't know, some random fucking car that they now say, whatever. It's a gas fucking thing anyhow. I had a Mazda MX-6 GT 1987 once. Called it, in retrospect, the Peg 90. And he's like, uh, they're like, around here. Maybe. To get it, like, whatever. That thing was like a tuning fork jet engine with a motorbike sound. It was like, okay, here's, here's 30, I don't know, there's nothing much, but who cares? But it's like, here's here's first gear, like 30 something miles an hour. Second, he's like, like there's 50, right? Or whatever, there's 75. Fourth gear is just cooking up to about a buck 10. Or about, I don't know. <laughs> it could hit a, a, a stoplight between the, it could hit, a, it could hit uh, 100 miles an hour probably between the, not that anyone should. But from the stoplight in Bellas Falls to downtown. And they think that's cool. They're like, oh, I'm in now. And oh, they're made, yeah, and they're part of some big fucking, they're gonna go far. Meanwhile, where do they live? What do they do? And all because someone said, you can't do drugs. And then someone said, well, we're gonna sell that. And what else? Oh, I don't know. Carjacking, gun money, human trafficking. The list goes on. So, that was real fucking, just... A fucking mint. Mint, you know, just perfect. That's how you do it. If I could have afforded to, I would have grown pot in my closet by now. I'd be doing many things by now. I'd be playing the electric guitar here. The irony being nobody will ever get to hear me play electric guitar here. No one here will ever, uh, whatever, hear of my success, celebrate it, get their mind off of this shit. I'm still gonna go get a laptop, a microphone, and a camera. When I go to Burlington... And my primary defense against a lot of this sometimes is fucking earplugs. I don't know why people don't believe in it. Maybe they just never tried. You gotta roll them up real thin first. The instructions on the package are crap, actually. 
and, and you jam them in as far as you fucking can. You really work it right in there so it's up against your eardrum and let it set. And you can rub your finger next to your ear and if you don't hear that, it's about as good as it gets at uh, whatever the fuck uh, conglomerate box house around here, right? Aid. They sell some called extreme earplugs and that's as good as you can get around here. Meanwhile, there's a new fucking Domino's Pizza in competition with, uh, I don't know, are they mom and pop stores? I could go fuck. They're probably, I, I could care. I really, I just, whatever. Everyone's bought and sold anyhow. And they probably descend from immigrants. Whatever. Just whatever. It's a fallacy in the fucking first place. It's supposedly a melting pot that absolutely jams the indigenous into some little fucking reservation. And of course, must be trying to hypnotize them with some weird ass fucking energy thing. The actual original bloodline lineage. The ones who are still, yep, no, nothing, no outside shit they would very much like, I'm sure. And then, uh, I don't know. By then they have people wearing suits and ties, owning casinos. <laughs> you got fucking black cops. Arresting, uh, whomever. And there's a guy who jammed a fucking implant in my forearm. Who has probably put so many hippies in fucking jail. And people just doing whatever the fuck they want to do. If they can. If they can get it from a so-called black market. Which of course is tied to the dark web. Which again, right next door is as fucked up as possible. And then what of malware? Might as well just add some little fucking uh, accent to the whatever, flourish on the dish here, might as well say it. They don't actually want to stop all the fucking virus shit, I don't believe, otherwise they would be trying to sell the protection for it. There wouldn't be all these different brand names. And then of course we would say, well then shouldn't the <laughs> so-called government do it? Eh, then what? Never is it about compel people just not to be fucking morons. Stop making the damn viruses. And then they ran and rave about how they have, they have, uh, <laughs> microwave weapons that can simply shut down an electronic device. Like if you were to throw your cell phone in the microwave for one second, it does not, it doesn't make it. It wouldn't, the Wi-Fi wouldn't work or whatever, nothing would ever work again. But what they don't do is reach in their own back pocket. Reaching a few back pockets behind that or something. Simply uh, get rid of some shit like that. And why? I don't know. Maybe it's uh, some other country. Not for one fucking second would any one of these countries want to admit what they're doing. As Noam Chomsky would say or whomever. I don't know. Some other people would say it too. But I'm sure it's all in one spot where people could agree that if these so-called governments ever admitted what they were doing, they would collapse immediately. And so, they're just going to try to keep us on this fucking runaway train. Metaphorically, you know, there's the cliff, fucking Hollywood shit, whatever. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, whatever the fuck his trip is, you know, kill everything, be macho, and from a foreign country. I had a speech once at some college that he went to where he said there's no such thing as a self-made man. What the fuck is that supposed to be? Now, what would the indigenous say about that? What would I say about that? I hate secret societies of any kind. Uh, as in a loathing. For the organization, not any human being making the difference quite vast between me and other people, not that I care for the comparison or the least of all competition.
There's no particular order, there's none. But I've been particularly fucked with by organized crime. They don't deserve a name. That's it, just organized crime. By any other name is organized crime. Whether it carries a briefcase or not, whether it goes to some big ass fucking edifice or not, uh, with a flag on it, some uh, archaic religion, f fuck that word, just some archaic, uh, I don't know, cult. Yeah, cult. Who never belonged here in the first place, and none of us do. And the irony is I have to wake up and say, you know, I, I, deserve, I deserve to live. And then, of course, it would be, if I don't like it, get out of America. But I have a home. And I always did, and I always will. Or a fucking opium poppy. Or something. Killing in the name of. They never said in that song, they never said what? Killing in the name of anything is not good. Anyway. Whatever. Last night was interesting. Listening to George Carlin, every time he talks about how he stole the land from the Mexicans and indigenous people, there's someone just, just stomping on the gas as hard as possible at that part. It's, 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 a, it's a clockwork now. For now, there's no traffic outside. If I step on that porch, I mean, fuck, I could carry the video outside. All of a sudden, cars. Black, black, black. And they lay on the gas exactly up to the yard. And then I go past. The dump truck. That, that, that one stuck out like a sore thumb for a while. A dump truck would go over th around like 5.30 a.m. or something to a person's house and just slam a, a dumpster around and shit and then drive off. And they've got all fucking day and I don't hear it anywhere else like the whole fucking day. I, I suppose there could be one dumpster, but that was pretty much rise and shine, time for psyops. Before, it was here's a cloud of birds shouting in our windows, or at least mine. And, uh, oh. Enough consistent things corroborated as the same pattern. No matter whether they're strangers or, you know, people I've uh, encountered who are strangers still. Or whatever, but but that's that's how we do it. Is that we we identify what they consistently do, and uh, put it in a pool and look at it and back it up with like patents and Supreme Court documents, uh, ongoing cases. And it's the most there, there goes a whatever a, some gas engine, with this super low energy. I mean like. And Who Killed the Electric Car is a documentary that, what was it, in the 70s? I believe they're they crushing them. Because some oil people came along. I think they even uh, assassinated some person just to do it. Why? So they could pump 50 more years of shit into the air, I guess. When you really look at... Maybe that, but their, it's not their motive. It's, it's, the, it's like the collateral damage of it. It's about collateral damage. And meanwhile... Beneath the veneer of how this is all cheeky and funny, I go online and read that somebody killed themselves because the radio is taunting them. See that? Circle? That was me uh, swearing some various things to myself. On other occasions, it's like, fucking go for it, do it. We're going to do this anyway. And in fact, encourages people to kill themselves into their own death using this voice of God technology, they call it. Well, I didn't pay some fucking conglomerate my price. Whatever the fuck it is, pass, so I gotta stop the video at 15 minutes. <laughs>